In Super Bowl 24, Denver's All-Pro nose tackle Greg Cragen, number 71, was on a collision course with history. Hey, baby! Let's go. We got to do it up front. Let's shut them down. They're going to try and run. Excuse me. Come on. Get up. See you watch the Rippers one. Freddy, do the, do the defense now. As a member of the NFL's stingiest defense, Cragen had his hands full with the league's highest scoring offense. We didn't expect them to do anything different. We just thought we were going to play better defense than the other teams did. We just wanted to get some big hits and keep pounding them. That offense has been getting after people all year, and again, we thought we, we had something that could stop it, and obviously we didn't. There was just not much that we could do about it. Then we ended up missing some tackles, that type of thing that we had said beforehand that we couldn't do if we expected to beat them. Denver's Super Bowl dreams were shattered again. And with the battle lost, Cragen's fighting spirit gave way to frustration. Yeah, let's make some plays. Loosen up, man. Tackle him, the other guys will get him. No gives it to Rasmus. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. What's happening, man? Probably about a halftime. I mean, nothing short of a miracle was going to get us out of this one. Come on. Hey. You still, you got to play a whole nother half. But at the same time, the, the character of this team has always been not to give up. And, and I don't think anybody did. It was just such a tough situation for us to overcome. Back 200 Jeff Denver! Back 200 Jeff They're virtually unstoppable. Uh, they throw the short pass, they throw the long pass, they can run the ball, they just keep you off balance and you think you can put together some type of game plan that's going to stop them, but nobody's really done it. And I don't know why it's been our team that's been blown out in the Super Bowls. I mean, we, you know, I think if, if, if even if we played them in San Francisco or we played them in Denver, uh, I'm not saying we would win the game, but I don't think it would be this type of game. And I don't know why it is that we come to the Super Bowl and, and things just completely fall apart for us. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, I mean, obviously we're a better team uh, than we were today. and. And, and I mean, I, I believed all along that we'd have to come out and play a great game on Sunday, and we didn't. We just got demolished. Uh, just thank God I don't have to watch it on film anymore. <laughs>